This video is going to break down three clear steps that will help you shift your mindset and focus on achieving success in life. Tony Robbins is one of the foremost life coaches in the world today, probably the best known and has sustained incredible success for around 30 years now. His achievements are nothing short of phenomenal and fundamentally, he's come from a very humble background to achieve all that he has. Here we look at some of his most important lessons that have helped him achieve his goals as we break down three steps that will help you get a breakthrough in life, putting you well on your way to achieving your life goals and ultimately achieving success. I won't waste any further time, instead let's get straight into learning the three principles from Tony Robbins himself, beginning with strategy. Whatever path you choose to follow in life and whatever goal you wish to achieve, fundamental to achieving it will be your strategy. You see, strategy can provide a structure to achieve success and with all of the resources we have at our fingertips today, proven strategies can take literally minutes to find. That isn't to say that it's going to be easy or instant, as after all, it's critical to apply the right strategy. For example, if you're looking to lose weight, then eating an unhealthy diet without exercise clearly does you no favours. However, on top of this, there are many fads and quick and easy diets that supposedly guarantee results extremely quickly to help you lose weight. The problem is that these diets often have notable negative effects on the body that will cause you health issues in the long term and in some cases, in the short term too. Here's the thing. Sometimes the most attractive strategy simply isn't the right one to apply. In the case of weight loss, managing a well balanced and healthy diet mixed with recommended levels of exercise is fundamentally the best proven and most effective strategy, not least because of the benefits you'll get in your long term health. Sure enough, it may not appear as sexy as the quick win strategies being put in front of you, but focusing on the benefits for the long term, it's proven to be the most effective. Equally important is to understand whether your strategy is applicable now, because it's important to understand that timing is critical and confirm that your information is coming from a valid source. For example, an athlete can use figures in history as examples to follow, but if they follow the training methods from around 50 years ago as opposed to those applied by modern athletes, well, it's only natural that they fall behind their peers. This is critical to understanding strategy. Some of what might have worked in the past might still be applicable today, but we live in a different time and environment, so naturally a lot of what worked in the past won't work now. So we've talked a lot about selecting the right strategy, but there's one more vital thing that needs to be understood here. If you don't apply the strategy, nothing happens. Here's the thing, if you want success by following a strategy, then the most important step is always taking action and actually applying that strategy. Fail to do this and you simply can't progress towards your goal. This leads us to the next point, which is you need to understand the power of your story. Let's be clear on exactly what this means. Simply put, how you communicate to yourself is critical in how you act in life. The problem with all of us, and I include myself in this as much as anyone, is that we're quick to make excuses about the state of our lives, rather than be willing to take on the responsibility and control in our life. Think about it this way, say you're at work and would like a promotion. Often those who commit themselves to working to that promotion will likely tell themselves the simple fact that if they work hard enough, they can get recognised for their efforts and earn the promotion. However, on the other side of the coin here, you'll find people who will tell themselves the story that they can't earn a promotion, maybe because their boss doesn't like them, or they don't have the skills that they need, or there's too much competition for the job. Here's the thing, ask yourself, who out of these two people are more likely to earn the promotion? Sure enough, the one with some semblance of belief may not succeed, but at least they have a chance. The one who doesn't believe in the possibility of earning a promotion, well, simply put, they're not even allowing themselves to play the game. You see, a negative story will kill hunger and kill your drive, literally stopping you from achieving success in life. When you lack hunger and drive, you lack the motivation to act and the lack of action ultimately means no progression. Simply, if you don't move forward in your life, you stay still and will be left behind as everything around you evolves. The thing is, many blame a lack of resources, such as money and time, on their lack of success. 
but rather than saying they lack resources, the key is to be resourceful. Tony Robbins is the perfect example of this, he grew up in poverty and was struggling to earn enough to survive. It was his ability to seek out people like Jim Rohn, who could help him grow as an individual and fulfil his ambition to never have to worry about money again, that helped him achieve his success. When he didn't have money, he didn't blame his circumstances for his lack of success, instead he was resourceful enough to seek mentors who could help him, and spent hours in the library studying to develop his understanding and knowledge of achieving success in his field of expertise. So you want to change the limiting story, regardless of circumstance, to be something not just motivating, but also empowering. And this idea of empowerment actually leads us to the third step, as we consider how we're affected by our state. Your state determines how you think and feel, and thus directly influences how you act. Principally, positive and optimistic states will automatically help you feel as though you have more control over what you can do when acting towards your goal, making you seek and find more opportunities to help you achieve success. And the amazing thing is that your state is the fastest way to progress towards a goal. You see, while your story sustains your outlook, your state is your current sense of being and thus will likely see you either take immediate action towards a goal, or stagnate and fail to progress. And this is the thing, your state is completely in your control, you can choose to be in a negative state, or you can choose to have a positive one instead. There are numerous techniques to do this, many I've discussed in the videos on this channel, so I won't go through all of the details here, but a quick technique is to take up a powerful and motivating pose, visualising your potential success, all the while saying a few simple affirmations that are empowering. Doing this has effects on your neurology, and so directly influences your body to help you feel more confident and in control in that given moment. So now that we've talked about each of the three steps to help you get a breakthrough when working towards achieving success, it's worth identifying the key factor of fulfilling these steps and actually progressing to success, that is, understanding the importance of decisions. The thing is, decisions are the key to pulling everything together as fundamentally decisions are what determine your outcomes. Think about the instances in the past where something important happened to you, in each, I guarantee your decision directly influenced the outcome, whether it was beneficial for you or not. You see, where you focus is where your mind is and being focused on the right things gives you control. For example, take the news, if you read negative news, how will that affect your state? You won't feel too great, right? Likewise, when you read positive news, how do you feel? You're much happier and more optimistic. How you feel controls your state, and by controlling what you can choose to focus on will determine how you feel. If you focus on the negative, it will influence your state, thus influencing your story and stop you from applying a positive and progressive strategy. Likewise, if you choose to focus on the right things, the present and the future with an optimistic outlook, then you'll change your state to be more positive, naturally affecting your story to believe in the possibility of success, and putting yourself in a position to be much more likely to apply the strategy to help you reach your goals. So, are you going to apply the Tony Robbins 3 steps to hitting a breakthrough? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, be sure to check out more videos on the channel, such as those on the screen now, and live life on your terms. Thanks for watching.